Morning. The Curry County Detention Center announced one inmate has tested positive for COVID-19. According to the press release Friday, the inmate was brought into the facility by the Clovis Police Department and has been quarantined since being booked into the facility. The detainee was tested on July 18th and the result was received Friday morning. Currently, there are no other positive tests confirmed by the Department of Health at the facility. Attorneys for the Restaurant Association filed a new lawsuit in the Albuquerque-based 2nd Judicial District on Friday in an attempt to force the Lujan Grisham administration to turn over documents supporting its decision to reimpose a ban on in-person restaurant dining. In the lawsuit, the restaurant group's attorney claimed the Department of Health has not supplied them with records requested under the state's inspection of Public Records Act. The agency requested more time to comply with the records request according to court filings and a 15-day deadline under state law has has not yet been met. The restaurant group, along with several restaurants around the state, filed a separate lawsuit seeking to block the Lujan Grisham administration from enforcing its reimposed ban on indoor dining at eateries and breweries. A district court judge in Carl's ban temporarily barred the Lujan Grisham administration from enforcing the ban on Monday. However, the Supreme Court allowed it to be reimposed after the governor's office filed an emergency petition later the same day. Both sides have been ordered by the Supreme Court to file responses in the case this week. State police on Thursday were involved in a foot pursuit of a criminal suspect near the 200 block of North Ross Street. The Eastern New Mexico News reported the incident happened just before 8 p.m. The suspect, Lonnie Clark, 30, of Alamogordo, escaped and remains at large. Court records show Clark is wanted on charges of breaking and entering after failing to appear in court. Anyone with information is asked to call the state police at 505-575-1305. The Roosevelt County Commission regular meeting scheduled for July 28th tomorrow has been rescheduled to July 31st at 9 a.m. The meeting will be held at the Roosevelt County Fairgrounds Jake Lopez Building. The New Mexico Department of Health is reporting the first human plague case of 2020 in the state. According to officials, a Santa Fe County man in his 60s has been diagnosed with the bubonic plague. According to the health department, the man is recovering at a local hospital, while an environmental investigation has begun to look for any ongoing risks to immediate family members, neighbors, and others in the surrounding community. The state land office today launched two new pilot programs for licensed New Mexico hunters that will create new dispersed camping opportunities in the White Peak region of Mora and Colfax County, as well as options for backpack camping in the Loera Mountains in Catron County. This is the first time in decades that dispersed camping and backpacking have been permitted on state trust land. Pilot programs are components of the easement signed in March 2020 between the State Land Office and the New Mexico Game Commission. The easement gives licensed hunters and anglers access to nearly 9 million acres of state trust land. The State Land Office included in the easement a provision for the Commission of Public Land to designate, on a pilot basis, dispersed camping and backpack camping in specific areas. Commissioner Garcia Richard convened working groups, compromised the state land office staff and representatives from the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and sports people from across the state to help facilitate the creation of the pilot program. Sports people identified the White Peak region and Luera Mountains as areas where hunters would benefit from new dispersed camping and backpack camping. The New Mexico Department of Agriculture is accepting grant applications for its Healthy Soil Program. The 2019 Act's purpose is to promote and support farming and ranching systems and other forms of land management that increase soil organic matter, microbiology, and water retention to improve the state's soil health, yielding, and profitability. New Mexico farmers and ranchers interested in applying must do so by 5 p.m. Monday, August 31st through an eligible entity such as Soil and Water Conservation District, a tribe, nation, or pueblo, or a land grant. Eligible entities will conduct preliminary reviews of the applications they received then forward the application they approved to the NMDA by 5 p.m. Thursday, October 8th. 